Good evening, everybody, and welcome to stream number four of my Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories playthrough. Hope everybody is well. Uh, last time out, we actually got to the end of Monstro. We defeated Parasite Cage, and we are now aiming to get out of Monstro. We have to uh, play a little mini game where we need to fill up the bar so that Monstro will actually spit us out. So, um, yeah, that's where we're up to. I hope everybody is well. And, um, yeah, let's jump back in. Um, see what we can do, I guess. If I can remember where we're going, of course. Um, I guess to the kingdom room, right? Okay, so let us head back to the kingdom room. Take out some bad guys on the way. We can uh, get a bit warm, a bit of warm up before we. Uh, Getting things proper here. Always takes a while just to kind of settle into things when we come back to this game, so. To waste any cards, that's the problem. I can't remember which one I used last time. Get rid of that one. I suppose. With the key to the truth. Get this again, because we already know what's happening. Yeah, so we've got to fill the game with the time limit. So. Yes, we did it just like that <laughs> okay Phew. Ayuk. it's working monster is gonna sneeze i hope so Either that or parasite cage is on its way back i really don't want to have to fight that again like we had to uh multiple times in the original Oh, now I know what getting shot out of a cannon feels like. Where's Pinocchio and his dad? They're gone. They must have gotten out safely. Without you, Jimny? I thought there was no escape in your conscience. I don't mind being left behind, as long as they're both safe. Maybe Pinocchio doesn't need me after all. What do you mean? That little puppet used to have trouble telling right from wrong. He's come a long way. Maybe he doesn't need Jiminy Cricket anymore. 
Seems like he's got a conscience of his very own. Don't you remember what Chepeto said? There's nothing better than being reunited with someone you care about. I bet Pinocchio's counting the days till he can see you again. Well, what do you know? You might be right. Alrighty then. I believe we are done. Doing and done. So let's uh, go up here and head on out to level six, I believe, is where we're going to be uh, heading off to next. On our way further through the castle. So what is there anything else to remember about that ocean floor? Mm, just bits and pieces. Maybe you could try telling us some more stuff about her. Who knows? It might even help you remember other things. Well, uh... She was quiet. And always drawing. When we'd go to the beach, she'd draw a picture instead of swimming. Sometimes she'd draw us, too. She was really good. I remember Riku and I fighting over who she'd draw next. But one day, she was gone, just like that. I think the grown-ups knew the reason. They might even have tried to explain some of it to me. But I was little. I probably didn't understand what was happening. I remember crying after she was gone but that's all I still don't remember her name oh, I bet you remember it in no time <sighs> I must point out Sora keeps remembering things instead of forgetting them it seems to me, forgetting things may be the only way to reach the memories buried deeper down inside each of us. So we should forget in order to remember? Like those guys said, our most precious memories lie so deep in our hearts that they're out of reach. All that stuff about finding, being losing, and losing being finding? I didn't get it at first, but maybe this is what they meant. Gore, Sora, I think I'm a little jealous of you. How come me and Donald and Jiminy aren't remembering more of the stuff from our memories? Come on, Goofy. Let's get going. We gotta forget things faster. Quite sure forgetting things faster is the... Um... <laughs> What they mean exactly. I had loads of buried memories to remember. How much you remembered? It won't be long before her name comes back to you. Yeah. Whatever her name might be. Just as we intended. We'll continue with our plan. Let's see how far this group will go. You had your fun on the first floor. So this time, it's my turn. <laughs> I'm not going to just give it to him. Don't break him. Well, do I detect a soft spot? Guess we got a boss fight coming up. I'm not going to break the toy. I'm not dumb. Don't forget. Sora is the key. We need him if we're going to take over the organization. I know that you're in on it too. But keep it under your hood. 
At least until the time is right. <laughs> you would have been wise to have done the same, Larxene. Larxene, so now we know her name. Axlan Larxene. So, Sora, did anything back there help you remember your friend's name? Uh, her name's the only thing I can't seem to remember. You gotta try. Hurry up and remember it. <laughs> Alrighty. Achievement Woven Memories. Save here as we're about to head into the uh, entrance of floor six. Don't you just hate it when something's on the tip of your tongue? If you ask me, you're this close to remembering your friend's name. The only kind of, um, I kind of thought back there, looking at that cutscene, that uh, to Loxine was maybe Sora's friend, but, you know, not so sure. Anyway, I believe we have one choice left, and we will be going to Halloween Town on Floor 6. And let's see, uh, Jack and the guys. Yeah, Floor 6 already, Evan. We was at the end of floor five the last stream, so um I knew it wouldn't take as long to get to floor six. Wash. Don't look like this like the looks of this place, but it's crawling with ghosts. Ah pooey, there's nothing to worry about. You won't be spooked if you already know what's coming. Not even real ghosts can frighten us anymore. They take one look at us, they'll be the ones to run away. You really think so? Trust me. Welcome to Halloween Town! Ah! A ghost! Oh, that was the best shriek I've heard in ages. If you're that easy to scare, we're gonna have a great time. Sorry, I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Jack Skellington, and this is Halloween Town. People around here call me the Pumpkin King. So if you're looking for a ghoulishly good time, you've come to the right place. Well, we aren't. Too bad, because at the moment we've got a bit of a problem in Halloween Town. What kind of problem? Well, like this. Gaida! Go, Napas! What's going on? Welcome, welcome. Best world? Yeah, the costumes are. Pretty darn good, that's for sure. Oh, I missed the blitz follow up there. How is the uh, the crisis going, Napas? I love the flowers. The flowers are great. Oh, we got Jack. Let's see what uh, Jack's capable of, shall we? Oh, the by the looks of it. Oh, I 
I need to heal. Uh, Evercrisis is having issues with co-op right now. Keeps failing to start matches. Oh, okay. That's not good. What's the big idea? Why'd you go and call the Heartless? I didn't call them. I just knew they were going to show up. In fact, I'd love to get rid of them. They actually go around attacking people instead of just scaring them. Why are they here? I was just going to ask Dr. Frinkelstein the same question. I'm heading to his laboratory right now. Follow me. Flora, what should we do? I guess we better go. I don't like this. What if he's leading us right to the heartless? Bingo! You saw right through me! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now let's get going. I has got such a nervous disposition. Flora learns terror. Strike fear in the enemy so they no longer approach. Some, two summon cards and jack. Simba, Mushu, and an item card. Okay. Well, I don't think I've got Mushu yet, so I don't think I can use the Simba Mushu approach. Check that in a minute. I think I've already... Uh, Call me having a short attention span, but I think I'm already done with Ever Crisis, if I'm honest. Um, unless I've got it in my deck, which I haven't. No, I don't have Mushu yet, so. Um, Got room, another 27 points, so to add a few more cards or a card into my deck. How much does Cloud cost? 31. Dumbo is 26. Dow Cinema moves water over a set time period. Play other games and everything and get on with it. getting close. Eating ground. Yeah. 
I can't remember if I... I think I can heal in between levels, can I? Unless I find a safe spot. I could always go back out to the lobby and... Uh... Uh, to be fair, Napaz, he was just like... He downloaded it and started playing it, I didn't even know. <laughs> Is level three. I haven't played it myself, to be fair, so... Wow, that was... That was... That was... Explosive as well. Oh, mountain spits at me. Rude. Kill kids in the first game. That's nothing wrong with that, then. <laughs> All right, let's um, let's go for a HP boost this time. I can't do anything about the fountain. was in more of these levels. I don't feel like any of the like, additional characters have been as strong as Aladdin so far. Aladdin was like proper over overpowered on the um, um, Moogle point.
check. Saving the children, Evan? Clearly you're not playing the game right, are you? Just saving children. Goofy's attack's pretty good when, like, spinning around with his shield. Thanks for the stretch, Lucas. Kids in Fallout 3 Megaton because you can nuke it. Again, Fallout's another so, so many franchises that I've not played. I suppose that's what kind of happens when you like spend so much of your life just playing one game over and over again. Um, hey ho. I get my Moogle points. All right, it's the only way we can go, it is. All right, this is a one plus room. Go to the premium, often leads to previous. It's not just Portal 2 though, it's like before Portal 2. Spent so much time just playing um, Call of Duty Zombies and um, racing games. So, even before the Portal 2 days, I was kind of like spending so much time playing one game or one genre of game. So, Crazy's here. What's going on, Crazy? How you doing? Hope you're well. This is uh, Halloween Town. So, uh, yeah, we're all Halloweened up right now. What's the power card? Yeah, Portal 2 has let me go. Oh. Upgrade a card to a premium card. Blizzard is now a premium card. Okay, well, that answers my question of what the uh, premium cards are, I guess. I guess this is like what the whole idea behind the premium room, though, right? Yeah, the, I used to like play a lot, and I I wanted to 
stream it and record it, but my setups of old were kind of um, weren't particularly great for recording like racing game content because that break, break. Um, because of like the movement and stuff, everything was just all blurry, so I didn't really stream a lot of that content in the past, so it's something I would love to do more of, but again, time and other things. Um, right, premium roulette time again. I was going for my heel card, but... Yeah, Gran Turismo. I did some Gran Turismo sport as well, yeah. Back in there. Moogle points, though. It's over. It's over. Yeah. Freeze. Courage. It's not who I want to take on if I'm on the jack, but it's fine. Third time looking, we hit it. Now a premium card. I don't know what premium cards do. What do premium cards do, anybody? Anybody know? Sure people know. Town looks relatively big in comparison to like all of the other ones that we've come across so far, so quite interesting. Okay, back to uh Yeah. 
easy. Alright. Two or above. Go for a bit of a challenge this time. Let's go for a, a room where strong heartless appear a heartless with strong cards appear. that bad boy. Got a CP boost this time. Probably shouldn't have um, used that goofy smash against the uh, plants because I don't think because they can't they're rooted to the ground. I don't think you can um, use them as such, which is. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Oh. I don't think you can use them against them because like I said they are like rooted to the ground, so. Power. You have it. Ha. 
That was close. I didn't realize that I'd like used my. I realized I'd used my my like heal card there. What we got here? We got. We can go to that just yet, can we? We've got our wish uh, on your limit on the map cards you can carry. You must delete some cards in order to obtain more. about the door mechanic um Heal. i'm not sure if i'm honest yeah. because i i feel like a lot of the time i'm kind of like using cards but i'm also wary that um i'm not i don't know I'm, I'm using the wrong cards Makes sense. I feel like I'm using like all the easy cards earlier on in the game, and then probably when I'm gonna want them later on in the game, because like rooms and enemies are gonna get harder, I'm gonna have a, a much harder time. I do find the whole mechanic interesting. Heal card keeps on. I'm getting very lucky here. Yeah, it's it's, very, it's nice that you like you can either choose you can like choose whether or not you want like a, a difficult room or or whatnot. That's I, I do enjoy that. Um, like I say though, I do worry that wonder and worry that like if you like if, for instance like here I, I need a card that equals three and a card that equals four. But what if, if I like get to a point where um let's say I don't have a three or I don't have a four, I'm not really sure how I would handle that, if that makes sense. I mean, I guess I could go back and redo areas. So I know you can obviously reset areas. Um, and just said there about like deleting cards as well. But yeah, I just kind of worry sometimes that. Anyway. So I don't really, I don't like really want to use like some of like the bet cards here, but sometimes you don't have a choice. So This is Aperture. This is Aperture. I'm oh, good, thanks, Doctorus. How are you, buddy? How's your week been so far? Allow me to introduce Dr. Frinkelstein, world famous genius. Yes, maybe I'm too smart. I'm afraid I've created something horrible. What's that? Well, have you ever stopped to think about the power of true memories? True memories? You see, my boy, our hearts are full of memories. But not all of them reflect the truth. The heart isn't a recording device. Even important memories change with time. They warp or fade, leaving us with but a shadow of what we hope to remember. That be happening to me? It happens to everyone. Some memories grow ugly, and some become more beautiful. If we could recover our true memories, the world would seem completely different. 
So I devised a potion from forget-me-nots that brings our true memories back. Did it work? Well, that's the problem. As soon as the doctor gets a whiff of the potion, Heartless started popping up. Sounds like a failed experiment to me. No, my research is flawless. I just need another look at the potion to find what find out what went wrong. Doing all right, not the best. Uh, not the best evening. I mean, more sad. Which notified now, late in your life. Ah, uh, don't worry about it, Doctress. Glad you're here now. we has been all right. Time to upgrade your PC. Oh, time to upgrade it. Uh, what, all components or just specific ones? In Naples, did you spend? Did did that actually have any increased benefit? I can't remember like your response when I asked you in the stream uh, the other day. Did it actually in improve Starfield or not? Fortunately, it's vanished. Maybe someone swiped it. Must have been Sally. Jack, you've got to find her and get my potion back. Leave it to me. Can I tag along? Oh. I want to know more about these true memories the doctor keeps talking about. Excellent. Let's go find Sally. Graphics card upgrade. Yeah. Marginally beneficial for Ever Crisis. Haven't tried Starfield yet. We'll do on Thursdays. Need to need to stream to test to see if it works together and good speed. Was you having trouble with Ever Crisis as well then? On the uh, emulator, um, mine was mine was running pretty flawlessly. Um, but then I have got like an i7. I don't know what you're running. I've got like i7 with 32 gigs of RAM and I don't know what my graphics card is. So yeah, my PC runs everything pretty pretty nice. Uh, Doctor's uses pounds. Initially planned on getting an RTX. 2060, uh, 3060. Now you want to get the RTX 4060 instead. Okay. Uh, I know, because I've got an i7 in my laptop, and I I was... It wasn't really running very well on my laptop with Bluestacks, but on my PC, it was, yeah, like I say, it was pretty flawless, so... Okay, where am I going next? We need to go... Do a cross, I guess. And no, we're not doing the crossword. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, nothing too shabby then. Uh, all right, two. Let's have an easy room. Let's have a. Moments reprieve. We don't have a key for. The Moogle points have we got? Uh, 232. I'm going to do a great deal with 232 Moogle points, but. Three or greater. Use that. Got I7 I've got. Didn't tell you. Um it's uh 11th gen I7 uh 1170 250 gigahertz. How many cores has that got? Uh da -da 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 -da. 
CPU. Uh, eight cores. Base speed of 250 gigahertz. So. I say everything I have tried to run on this PC, I have not struggled with. Region of great GPUs because you use Blender a lot and you plan to make animations, use cycles as render engines, as a path tracing engine. Yeah, I mean, if you're doing stuff with Blender, Dog Chris, then I, I can see why you uh, gonna get a nice GPU behind you. I don't even know what GPU I've got in this because, like, this machine is like one that my. Uh, from my uh from work to be fair but because of the work i do i need like quite an intensive um machine um, yeah mine's like a I, i've never I, I hadn't heard of it before i got it but it's a nvidia t600 which is like a, i think it's like a slimline business form um and a graphics card but it's i had previously had a, only had like a, a gtx 750 ti overclocked four gigabyte uh, card which was pretty good i, I never had any, like many issues with it but this is like just something that i've like, never heard of before this is a lot more powerful crazy i say i think it's like more of a, a business end graphics card but i've got like a small form factor pc as well yeah no it's definitely a, a 750 tie it was a 750 ti overclocked uh, Four gig, uh, four gig. I never used the overclock on it, and I never ever had an issue playing games on it. But then, you know, because I play, tend to play older games anyway. Um, it's never really been an issue for me to play anything, I guess. I think the most intensive game I've ever played on my PC is probably Doom. 2016 Doom. I dare say it's probably the most intensive game I've played on it. Even that didn't really have many issues. Yikes, I need an 8. Clear out this room and then we got story time. We get rid of these plants. These plants are like really annoying.
Yeah, I think I've, I have taken a look at uh, your uh, yourself, your Twitch page. Guess at what GPU you've got them in it. It's 37% 30, off. Those 2% really do matter. Um, no idea, Doctor, it's what you might have. Are you running like a standard, like, stock? Intel 750 crappy processor that comes bundled with a computer yeah. motherboard or something. It'd be pretty hilarious if you were. It still didn't seem that long ago since the the ten eighty came out. It's crazy, like how like far from the ten eighty we now are. Yeah, it's it's not. It's it's um definitely plans to few. Uh, pays to future proof me, that's for sure. What's like the recommended specs, Doctors, for like for doing things like the sort of blender stuff that you you're doing? I think I've realized I made like a massive mistake. Like, I upgraded my heel card to premium, and I get the impression, and I, mean, and I don't know for sure, but I get the impression that um, 
premium cards can only be used once. And that's why it's disappearing from my deck. I've got enough to put, I've got enough to put that in there. Sure, you can tell me, Napaz. So yikes, my my CP has like shot through the roof all of a sudden. That was a big upgrade on that last um, last time around. Oh, hold on a minute. That's still there. Power of attack cards and HP is low. Stops enemies from breaking attack cards you use. I gotta try to remember to use these a little bit more. Are cheaper, but they cannot be really. Yeah, you can reload them if, you, if they're the last card in the slide. Okay. That's what I was thinking. Like, I was like, well, why the hell isn't it coming back to me? Um, that makes sense. 